Hi everyone, it's Julia at Crosspatch. I'm back. Um, been busy helping my daughter move into her new house. So I've been painting, decorating, cleaning, stripping, gardening, blah, blah, blah. And finally, I've got time to myself. So excuse all the noises outside. It's a boiling hot day, all the doors are open. I'm just waiting for next door's dogs to start. Um, I'm doing Dresden's today. And I'm going to start this one with just my mini Dresden template. I do two Dresdens, um, one of which is the, the normal one that you'll see, the normal full size Dresden. I'll just lift that up to the camera. Uh, we're not talking about him today, so he can go away for another day. We're talking about baby Dresden. So here's baby Dresden. He's a little two and a half inch one um, who I use on lots of my projects at the moment. And they come with the patterns. So um, I'm going to show you how to use it, then I'll show you some of the samples. So here's the little two and a half inch Dresden. Now I do lots of little two and a half inch charm packs and they're really handy for this. Um, or if you get them like the candy bar packs, they're quite good because you can get three lots out of each candy bar shape. So a candy bar is two and a half inch by five. So this one is one of the latest French General I've just had. So there's 80 in this, so you get, you'll get you get 80 blades, so a blade is the template. You'll get 80 of those and you only need 20 to make one full Dresden plate. So these are quite handy to get and you get the whole mix of fabric in one. Um, when I cut them, I normally do about eight at a time. So I've got eight squares put there together. I put it on my rotating rotary mat, just press because it's a two and a half inch Dresden and these are two and a half inch squares, it fits perfectly on top. And then I just cut off either side. And if you've got a rotating board, you can just move it without moving your template. So that's how you would cut them out. Um, as I say, I normally do about eight at a time. Now to make them, you don't need to press them to do this. All you need to do is fold them in half along the long side like that and you're just going to stitch across that top edge so where's the bit i just did there you go so there's one i've just cut stitched across the top edge use a quarter of an inch seam and then i snip off the little folded corner because it makes it easier for turning and then turn it through to get your point so i always use my scissors to poke them out there we go so poke them out um I do 20 at a time and then I take them to the iron and just give them a press because they sew together much better if you press them. So once you've made your 20, you're going to sew them together. So all you do to sew them together, let's grab one here, place these right sides together like that. And then you're just going to sew down that edge. So quarter of an inch seam from the top edge, folded edge here down to the bottom. And when you've done it, it will look like that. And then you'll open it out. So you join 20 of these together and you'll end up with one of these. Let's hold it on the white paper. So that's the last French General that I had. I haven't made one with a new one yet. That's the next job. Um, these are ones I'm doing for the next Create and Craft. So these are gonna be autumn cushions when they're finished. So that's what you finish up with. So what you do with those then is you applique them to the fabric. So here's some that I've started making for the next Create and Craft. So I've got a 10 and a half inch square for this one. And I've put the Dresden plate on the middle of some yarn dye. You're gonna to want to cover the middle. So what I would do is I pin this down and then I will tack that down. And then to cover the middle, if you've got um, the pattern that will go with this cushion, you'll have a template, uh, whatever pattern of mine you have, you'll have a template for the middle. So it might just be a plain circle or it might, like in this case, uh, be a flowery shape. So these are the shapes that will fit this one. I think these are three and a half inch. Let's just measure it. Oh, that's a three inch circle and then the flowery ones are three and a half inch so a three inch i think will fit the middle so let's get that one so the three inch will go over 
the middle of your blades. What I do is I trace a circle onto some heat and bond, but I cut out the middle of the heat and bond because it makes it too bulky and just leave the edge sticky. So I'll pin this onto my yarn die or whatever background I'm using, and then I'll put that on and fuse it on and then it will help sort of hold it in place. If you're using the flowery one, obviously it'll look like that. And to make that one, I've got flower nesting flower templates. So I've used one of my nesting templates, the media. If you've got my nesting flower templates, it's the middle sized one to do that. And I've also put some applique on these ones. I've put the little bird applique on the middle. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch that Dresden down and then I'm going to applique my bird, but I'm just going to do a little running stitch around him to hold him in place and then maybe do some echo quilting when I've finished because these are going to be cushions. Um, here's a cushion I've done before. Um, this was with uh, some Welsh wool and uh, some Dutch heritage fabric. So just put like a 12 and a half inch square in the middle, put your Dresden in the middle of that fabric. And then if you've got the two and a half inch square packs and you've got a load left over, put them around the edge. So that, that new French journal will be perfect for something like this. Um, if you've got a charm pack, obviously you can just cut your charm pack into four. Here's one I made a while ago, again, using the little Dresden. So I've, I've used four and this was some Adita sitar fabric just on some Osnaberg. It looks a bit rough because I sit on it at night. It's on my uh, favourite armchair. Um, and then this one was the, the little bird quilt that I did a while ago. So that's got the, the Dresden on each corner of it. So it's obviously it's the same as the cushion I'm making now. Um, so I'm just making the cushions rather than doing all the stitcheries and everything again. Uh, what else? Oh, on my bag, my template bag. So I used the same, the two and a half inch one on the back of the template bag. So it, they're really easy to use. It's a really handy uh, little template. At the moment, they just come, I'm just selling them with the patterns. So it will come, it comes in with the little bird uh, pattern. Uh, it comes with the template bag, with this bag pattern. You can have the pattern with the template or without it. This has got a bit of stitchery and everything, a bit of everything with it. Um, when I do the Create and Craft next month, September, the little bird, these cushions will come with a baby template. Um, the patterns come with like a drawn template anyway. Um, you can make your own template if you want, but it's not so easy to cut out. These are made by my good friend Handy Andy. Um, they've got non-slip little pads on the back. I don't know if you can see those. So when you're cutting out, they, they stay in place. Um, they're all on the cross-patch.co.uk website. Um, and now I can't find my little button to stop the video from recording. So I'm just going to um, talk to myself for a minute until I find it, which I have found it. Last time it wouldn't work anyway, so I might have to reach and turn it off. Um, I hope you're enjoying this really hot weather. We haven't had any rain for ages, so we're getting a bit worried now. Um, I'm on Create and Craft in September, and now I can't remember the date. It's about the 18th, 19th, something like that. A Saturday night and Sunday morning anyway. Um, I'll do another DVD, video, YouTube, whatever, on the um, big Dresden soon. Um, but I want to play with it and using like two pieces of material at once. And I haven't got any samples of those at the moment. So I need to get my um, self in gear. Um, and I'll be using the new French general fabric, which is hiding behind. If I turn to it to one side, you can just see there's loads of bolts of fabric. They're hiding behind me. Um, 40 bolts of the new French general fabric. So I'll be playing with that and trying to make lots of things with that. Um, thank you for watching my ramblings again. Um, and I'll see you soon. Have a good uh, week. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy your gardens. Thanks a lot. Bye.